Houston uh, has been known as one of the cities where obesity is a significant problem. When you look at the diet, when you look at uh, the lack of public transportation, when you look at a lot of factors, obesity is a very critical issue for us. Faith and health go hand in hand. We as human beings are more than just spiritual beings. We are both physical, spiritual, and social beings. In our opinion, for ministry and faith, we have to reach into all of those areas. The Institute for Spirituality and Health was founded in 1955. So when the founders of the Texas Medical Center got together, they wanted to have a medical center that didn't only care for the body, but also cared for the spiritual components of a human. It's all connected, it all goes together. Faith and Diabetes program came out of the action work groups from Cities Changing Diabetes. And so out of that, there were a group of us that were from households of faith and, and we thought, hey, what a great opportunity for us to take the message of diabetes and infuse it within theology. The Faith and Diabetes Initiative has the vision to use um, and understand how communities of faith across Houston can be hubs for health and wellness. Now what we want to do is help open that conversation up and help give permission to people to talk about religion and health or spirituality and health. Uh, we know that spirituality um, and beliefs and practices grounded in religious traditions actually impact health. Amen. Amen. The training itself will be uh, over seven weeks uh, and five different sessions. We will not only talk about the very fundamentals of diabetes, but we'll also talk about how to best train and how best to take the message of disease prevention and disease management within diabetes. So one of the real purposes of this leadership training is to help those churches or those households of faith to build their capacity. What's exciting about this whole program is that it's not restricted to Judeo-Christian churches. We're opening up to mosques, uh, to Buddhist temples, uh, to a variety of different faiths. Our vision is to empower lay leaders, not necessarily faith leaders or the heads of a church, but lay leaders who want to become leaders for health and wellness in their communities. A large percentage of people um, who have a concern with chronic health diseases, they'll go to their community of faith for support. And if, and if the community of faith doesn't have a system of support, there's nowhere for them to go. Working with the Fountain of Praise is really amazing because it's got 20,000 plus members. Um, so they themselves are a, a really large community that have a lot of very complicated, nuanced problems. So it's a really good site to learn from. Our Faith in Diabetes program actually grew out of uh, having an awareness to the need for people to be tested for diabetes. And I discovered that many of them have never been tested, treated, or even talked to at length about this condition. We're learning more and more about uh, how big of a problem diabetes is now and how much of a problem it's going to be in the future. It's a real epidemic. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of Houstonians that have diabetes or pre-diabetes. We feel that just on, on, on its face as a public health issue alone, it's important to think innovatively about how to address this problem. At the end of the day, we are hoping that we make a difference. Bottom line, that we decrease the incidence of diabetes, that we push people more toward positive uh, lifestyles, uh, healthier lifestyles. It is our hope and prayer that it not only spreads to the community around us, but the city at large, and then eventually throughout the nation. And so we're hoping that we can bring attention to this so that other leaders of, of faith communities, no matter what religious belief or denomination it may be, understands it is our responsibility.